Every Child is Different is a public engagement activity that we're running through Brighton Fringe Festival with Same Sky and what we're trying to do is communicate our research uh, regarding personalised medicine in asthma and allergies so we know that some children don't respond the same to different medicines, specifically in asthma, but also looking at personalised management approaches, so how we can tailor a child's individual management plans to suit their needs. This is to do with genetic differences um, and, and trying to explain to children, you know, different types of, of scientific advancements and all that sort of thing, but actually trying to get it across to them in a way that they'll, they'll actually understand. There's loads of people at, of all ages just coming to learn about their genes. Um, different cures don't cure um, the same people because they have different genetics. If you have different types of skin where um, viruses can easily get into your body. It's just really nice to see the way the kids are really engaging with everything and I swear I wasn't as bright as they are when I was their age. We've got kids who are six and seven and they know all about white blood cells and red blood cells and nerve cells and neurons and I just, I've been absolutely blown away by it just how enthusiastic they are and yeah, how much they're all getting their teeth into it and how much they know coming into it. Um, I like the fact that William, who's seven, was able to go round and by the end of it he definitely gained more understanding of asthma and because he's been in and out of hospital with asthma himself it's been a really nice experience for him without the pressure, you know, just a fun way of learning. It's looking at every every child or every patient is a is a person in their own right and has their own needs. You learn something as a parent, but you know, seeing the kids kind of trying to piece things together as well or starting to piece things together, it's been fantastic. Thinking about medicine in a more simplistic way, and I'm not in a, I don't mean negatively like simplistic is bad. I actually mean understanding what's underneath medicine and actually trying to, to tell people about that, what it actually means, especially children, what does it actually mean? What does it mean DNA? What does it mean molecules, cells, all these things? And it's been really good, it's making me think differently about stuff. Yeah. This is, it's far more involved, you get to actually communicate with, with the general public and obviously as a doctor you're going to be doing that day in day out, so it's, it's, a, great, it's a great experience to actually get involved at, an, at such an early stage. You can actually, when you go and see a doctor, sometimes it will be, you know, you might have someone come to school, but otherwise it's going to be a GP surgery, isn't it, or when you go and have a flu vaccine or something like that in a hospital. This is a completely different environment, it's very creative, it's just you know, removing all barriers and having that interaction um, and it is quite exciting. But also if you're dealing with children you're also working with parents as well so it's making sure that you can explain things clearly, meet the needs of both sets of people um, and hopefully in a way that's, that's light and enjoyable. And actually see what the public think of it and it's been it's been really great not only working with the kids but also with the parents as well because you show an idea to the kids and they're really really intrigued by it and then you get the parents going so why does that work why does that happen so it's been yeah it's been a really really good day I think it, I think it's fun to learn about science and about what and, and it's not just science but it's local science as well you know so it's um yeah fascinating I didn't know about um, tailoring of asthma medication according to your DNA? Um, I'd like to think that I've, worked, I've learned what DNA stands for, but I, I don't think I can repeat it. Um, the oxyribonucleic acid is basically what makes me mean. Every child is different. Our research has taken us to a point where we are able to trial personalised medicine in the field of children's asthma. We can only proceed with our research if we understand how it's benefiting parents and how it's benefiting children. We can get this feedback from the parents only if we can get across our research to the children and their families. And this will empower them to provide us with the right feedback. And this feedback will then guide our research over the next 10 or 20 years.